Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. All right, let's check in with Ben, who's joining us uh, live from home right now. Ben, I think you were, I think you're basically alluding to today is kind of the calm before the storm this weekend, huh? Yeah, we have a bit of a mess on the way this weekend, Tom. It doesn't look super significant, but it could just be enough to cause a few problems. We're talking about a marginal freezing rain threat, and we'll get into that in just a second. But first, want to take you outside to Plattsburgh. You can see a little bit of sun on some of the buildings in the foreground there, and a little snow shower if you look across the, uh, the lake towards the Green Mountains. I think that's kind of what we're dealing with everywhere this afternoon. Looking at the visible satellite, pretty much everybody is socked in the clouds and you can actually see some cool wavy patterns that's caused by the mountains and the clouds riding over some of our local mountain ranges so always cool to see that if we go in really close on storm tracker you can see these little blips of white that just keep zipping past those are just very small snow showers and i don't think we're going to see much accumulation from that throughout the rest of the day. It's 37 in Plattsburgh and Burlington. Meanwhile, 30 in Saranac Lake, 35 is the number in St. Johnsbury. So as we go into tonight, we'll see a little bit of clearing. That bodes well for our chance of seeing the Northern Lights. We'll talk about that in just a second. And then going into tomorrow, we actually trend a little bit warmer. And then that's coming ahead of that messy weekend system that Tom was alluding to. So this is what your weekend looks like. Honestly, most of Saturday looks okay. I think the daylight hours are totally fine. We'll have a bit of a rain mix move in as we go into the overnight, but then more warm air comes in for Sunday, changes all of that over to a steady light rain. Some of us could get even close to 50 degrees that day. So for the rest of today, expect temperatures to go from the upper 30s down into the 20s tonight. The feels like temperature likely hovering around the low 30s and getting into the maybe the low 20s tonight with a very light wind out there. Overall, uh, it's not that bad of a night. This is right around where we should be this time of year. But the partially clear sky is key because if you look to the north after it gets dark, you may actually see the northern lights. It's pretty rare for us to get an opportunity like this. So what you're looking for is basically a green glow really low on the horizon. You might see a few ribbons. You should bring a camera with long exposure for the best results, but you want to look tonight into early Friday before the clouds come back, and they are going to come back very early in the day on Friday. In fact, most of Friday is a pretty overcast day, maybe a couple breaks of sun towards the end. But then as we get you into Saturday, you can see we start to get a little more active late in the day, and the pink that shows up there on Futurecast indicates we could be talking about some freezing rain, so we'll need to monitor the potential for that. Again, all of that goes over to rain on Sunday, so no problems by then. Big cool down by next week, though. We, we're talking snow showers on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday all have highs in the 20s, and here's some good news for skiers and snowboarders. We're watching for the potential of a storm on Thursday. And yes, Tom, it looks like it might be a snow event. All right, Ben, thanks.